Welcome back everybody to Let's Play Blood on the Well Done Difficulty as emulated on DOSBox. I'm Bloodite Draken, and this is Episode 3, Map 5, Spare Parts. We start out with a danger switch in front of us in the entrance to this smelting plant. You can't access it right now, it doesn't do anything. But, if you look through the window there's a couple of cultists lying in wait. Now they're just lying in lava. Yeah, Chernobyl's recruits aren't exactly what you'd call all that bright. Anyway, let's step on out through the door, pick up on the shotgun, and then around the corner there's a couple of hellhounds. Also, up above on this floor there, there's a couple of cultists waiting for you. There's a couple more as well, but uh, I can't reach them from here, so we'll head up the stairs and gun them down. Pick up on the shotgun shells and the TNT. And then you see that platform over yonder with a switch on it. You have to go through this conveyor belt with the crushers, reach that platform and hit that switch in order to turn on the switch downstairs. Yeah. Operation Health and Safety much? Not really. Alright, through the conveyor belt we go. Then you want to be quick about this. Ah! Get off! That's better. Yeah, that's the reason why you want to be quick about it, is because they'll come and try and strangle you. You also get an extra hand that comes in through this, these doors at the start. It's weird. He just seems to teleport in there after the switch has been activated, but activating that switch now lets you activate this one. Which will open up a lava pool with a couple of hellhounds in it. Alright, now we'll just head back upstairs and hitting that danger switch down below opens up this door now. Makes it accessible is what I mean. Anyway. Get out the spray can and hit this button, it'll activate security. Flames will jet out of the wall and then when they're finished, the zombies will come after you. A nice touch. You set on fire and then while you're running around screaming on fire, zombies will come and hack you to bits. It's almost like some sort of unconventional barbecue. Anyway, uh, this door is accessible now. Zombies will come after you, so I'm just going to use the flare burst on them. Cocked up above. <laughs> Perfect landing. And we should be able to take a few more into the lava. That's what you get for blindly chasing me like that, boys. Anyway, we can jump across this platform to get the flares early. And if you look across, you'll see the teleporter over there. So just jump across. What we're going to do is run in, pick up the invulnerability, jump down to this... Oh, crap! I'll explain why I did that in just a second. Run through this door, cross the bridge, take out the contest! Or fanatics, whatever you want to call them. Okay. Now the reason I did that is because what happens is when you take the teleporter, it takes you to a ledge that allows you to jump down onto... I'll just show you. The teleporter takes you up to that ledge, which allows you to jump down here. That's why I use the boots to jump back up. So you can bas it's basically allowing you to get to these fail-safe buttons from another angle. Normally you'd go through a door here that has super armor in it from the other side. So just hit these buttons and it turns off the fail-safes. Basically here's the door in question. See how it rotates? Yeah, that's how it would have rotated if we'd hit the button from the other side. And... Yeah! Basically, you'd step in from the other side and hit that button, and it would rotate to 
took you out to this part of the facility. You would have seen the fanatics up there instead. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> anyway, we have to head up to what looks like a power station for this place, I assume. And you basically want to be careful, there's Colossus on both sides of the ramp. Looks like there's goodies down here as well. A fire shield for the taking and a napalm cannon. They're like low wang mini secrets. There's a fanatic around here as well. Yeah, it's so we can't access this door right now. Locked. We have to activate this switch. It kinda looks like some sort of water pumping station. And we got Guys trapped in there as well. Well, there's nothing we can do to save them. Just hit the switch. And then that fills that up with blood by the looks of it. And then that turns this area red, but we're not going to go there just yet. We're going to go for an optional area that you want to be careful about. I don't quite know what this room is, but it's pretty damn dangerous. And basically it just takes us back out here. So there's TNT in there if you want it. I'm hoping that trap doesn't activate a second time. Okay. Can't pick it up for whatever reason. Oh well. Yeah, you basically want to head to that optional area here to take out the void of butchers to make sure you get the most out of your body count. But for now, we'll head through this door and it takes us to another part of the facility. Kind of like a sort of smelting oven, I imagine. Anyway, hit the switch. And Cultus will appear behind you. I forgot about that for a second. I won't forget about what comes up next though. Zombies will come after you when you hit this switch through the door. It's alright, we're still in good shape. Okay, it's this switch here that opens up to the next part. Care of those cultists. We'll just wait for these doors to close and we'll open them back up. Zombies will come around the corner. There's fanatics down below as well. There's also hands in the elevator. We'll get to those in just a second, but for now we've got fanatics on the other side to deal with. Alright, and then pick up the shotgun shells afterwards. Looks like we've got the attention of hands. And they're dead. The elevator just takes you straight back up to that ledge top side. Eh, we'll just pick one of those up. So we want, what, what we want to do now is... Hit this switch. Uh, did we hit that switch already? I'm trying to hit it now and it's not working. And that opening in the smelting oven is available now, so I think we'll just go in. Okay, another conveyor belt full of crushes. I'm going to be quick about this one. Uh, and then we've got a couple of hellhounds, some cultists up above. It's a mess. Alright, so it takes care of the cultists. We'll go after the hellhound now. Um, I'm stuck. 
Ah, this sign, this architecture just makes it hard to hit him. Uh, that was unconventional, but that worked. Except I've lost a shitload of ammo now, and that's not going to be good. Oh well, I'll just... Well... See, I'm at a crossroad here because there's two secrets to access. One's far more dangerous than the other. So I'll explain my dilemma. Inside that oven is a secret life seed to pick up. And then... You have to activate this brown oven to lower down that lava fall to get guns akimbo. Which also gain, get, grants you access to a couple of kills. Uh, I'll just go with the Tesla cannon and get the guns akimbo first, because then I can use my med, my med kit to try and recover and then get the last hit afterwards. It, you, get, you won't take that much damage if you're quick about it. I think they get crushed anyway. Alright, that went smoothly. Smoothly enough. Alright, let's get the shotgun. We don't need it. And then we'll just get into the oven. There we go, that wasn't so bad. And then we got one more secret coming up that's pretty much in plain sight. It should be easy enough to get. Figuratively. Whoa. Couple of hellhounds in there. We'll just use the last glass of this Tesla cannon to take this one out. What are we gonna do for the rest of the hellhounds? I don't know. I'll figure something out. Right now we have a bit of a basic puzzle in front of us. When you solve that puzzle, it'll open up a window there with a couple of fanatics. You basically just gotta make them all vertical horizontal. So while that's doing its thing, we'll just wait over here. Alright. And then we'll grab the skull key here that's opened up. And I I think this is just an optional area. I'm going to attend to it, but I'll explain why. I'm just going to jump through that window. Oh, kill the hand. And then we're going to figure out how to kill the how hounds in here. I suppose I could just lure them out into this area and throw dynamite at them. But yeah, now that we have the skull key, we can pretty much just go through here and open up that elevator and end the level. But we better get to the optional area first. What I'm going to do is get out the voodoo doll. Because I don't have much for Tesla ammo anyway. We have to deal with another stone gargoyle. This again. Oh Christ! Those are the hellhounds in question apparently. Uh oh. No, do not want. Ah, uh, that worked. I got a few hits in. Those projectiles are just so fucking dangerous. Well, that went well. <laughs> Compared to the freaking hotel. Alright, well there's just basically a whole bunch of goodies to collect amongst these crates. It's pretty much an optional area and I now realise you don't have to go here for any progress in the level. But there's just a whole lot of ammunition to collect in front of you and another life seed as well. And one last secret. One of those, well, let's just call it an ancient Chinese secret because it's just right here in front of us and so bleeding obvious. The Tesla cannon. Alright. Now, I'm not going to get that life seed just yet. I'm going to clear out the rest of the map and re reach the exit. Then I'm going to come back for the life seed. So that way I'll, I'll start off monster bait with uh, 200 health. I don't know what those switches do, but I flip them anyway. So, yeah. Through, through this door. 
and then bring down this elevator. Up you get. Motherfucker! Oh well, I don't give a shit. And there's the exit. And I also just realised... It's a nice detail there too. Just realised I could probably go back and get that doctor's bag as well. You know what though? There'll probably be a doctor's bag somewhere in Monster Bay, so I'm not interested. Just want to go get that life seed and then we're out of here. Alright, and done! With full statistics and kills, I like it! No, I'll see you guys next time in Monster Bait, which is totally, probably, totally, completely not a piss take at the word masturbate, I'm sure. Kappa.